All right, so I just got a Volca drum in the mail yesterday. Uh, I pre-ordered it a few months ago. I've been like obsessively watching videos, including the uh, Cuckoo uh, Mega Tutorial, the one that's like 60 minutes long, uh, showing off all the different features that this thing can do. Uh, but one thing that I think he, f as far as I remember from watching it a million times, uh, something that he failed to show off in his demo and review was how to, uh, first of all, get locked into step jump mode. Uh, which is something that you might want to do if you just don't want to hold down the button and you want to access different settings, maybe play around with different layers uh, and parts and whatnot uh, while you're in like a step jump, like lock groove kind of thing that you've got. Um, and you can also enter a step sequencing mode, like a step edit inside the step jump lock that you have set up. I accidentally discovered this last night when I was playing around with this thing for the first time. Uh, it was probably like my fifth hour messing around with it and creating new beats and whatnot and I uh, kind of accidentally, I, I honestly thought I broke the thing because I like couldn't, I couldn't get it to get out of the step jump mode and I just couldn't figure out why the step jump thing was flashing. But anyway, I'll show you kind of, show you guys kind of what happens here. So I've got a beat preloaded on here. Obviously there's step jump. So if you hit step jump and then you hit any of these, it will get locked into that particular step. Uh, so you can do stuff like this, where you just want to play one, you know, four-step loop of this, like this. Um, so we're, what we're going to do is enter that, that first four-step loop and just get it stuck doing that for a minute so I can show you how to access the uh, step sequencing mode that's, like, within step jump. So let's do this. So we have step jump enabled. We hit the play button to get the sequence going. We get locked into those four. We hold step jump and we release. Now we let release step jump and we are now locked in like a lock groove there, like a part of the 16 step sequence that I set up. So from there, if you hit the step jump button again, uh, see how it starts flashing, um, you will be able to access like a step editing mode if you hit the edit step button and depending on what part you have active you can go in and mess with it like this like that's the base which is on uh, part one for instance or um, let's see I think yeah you can hit any of these to get to access the part and make it active in order to edit it in the step mode. Uh, one thing that I find irritating that I can't figure out how to stop, and if anyone can figure this out, just let me know. Uh, one thing I can't figure out is how to um, get it so that when you're trying to access a new part to edit during the uh, step jump lock edit mode or whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, you can't, I mean, it, it will make the sound of the, of the um, part while you're selecting it, which is kind of irritating if you're like in like a groove. Like I'll show you real quick, I'll do this again. do the step jump edit mode and then you'll see as soon as I hear how it's like playing the note I don't want it to play the notes maybe that's just so you can um, like record edit but I wish it would not do that maybe you can mute them no I don't think there's any way to do that anyway that's kind of how you do that so you edit this you'll hit edit step or you select this one then you can go like this now you've got that set up I mean, you can even do slicing from within here. So, it's pretty crazy, actually. Um, I, I don't think that it's something that's shown in the manual. I, I poured over it a little bit, um, and like I said, it's not in the mega tutorial. It's up on YouTube, so I found it to be kind of an interesting little uh, thing you can do, I guess, if you wanted to... Um, I don't know, kind of like get locked into a certain part of the sequence so you can mess around with that for a while if you're like improv or something like that. And it allows you to kind of open up and, and add extra beats. And from what I remember messing around with last night, uh, the changes do save. So if you drop out of the step jump uh, and you've edited those steps, they end up on the main sequence too. I guess we could check that out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I, I don't even have to go in and do it again because as you can tell, the hi-hat that I edited in during the step jump lock, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, is still there. So you can obviously go in and, and get rid of those if you want to, which is cool. So 
that is something I found interesting uh, that is not well explained. There are lots of things like that with the Volca drum, and I think with the Volca series in general, however, this is my first one. I am very interested in picking up some of the others uh, now that I know what this thing is capable of, but I feel like I'm going to be very busy with this for quite a while. It is quite the crazy device. So yes, that's basically that. Cheers.